Hey, what is going on guys? So as you can probably tell, I'm in a different setting right now. It's definitely a good thing here, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what just happened in the past couple months. It has been a hectic part of life for me. I wanna be open and honest with you guys. I recently actually got laid off from my job about a month ago. And honestly, it's been the biggest blessing in disguise. At first it was kind of scary and you know, unexpected, but now I have recently had a few offers for some other companies and it has been really, really good. Really close to getting all this situated, but I want to be open and honest with you guys. I mean, this is an open, open channel. Like I said, y'all, you guys can always reach out to me via email if you want, but my Instagram, whatever, like shoot me a message if you need to talk about something, especially if it's faith related, you know, I'm here for you guys. And then that's honestly like the biggest reason that I do this whole thing. Like, yes, we share our love for trucks, for cars, for working on them. You know, that human to machine connection is all we're about here. And you guys know that. But yeah, so let's get past that little bit right there. That's kind of just a little bit in a hunter's life, but yeah, so here, we, I'm in a new house, got this awesome two car garage. And as you can tell, it's definitely gonna need some work. Uh, it's not in the best condition right now. It's not even organized. Uh, I kind of just had to throw some stuff in here whenever I first moved in a few days ago and you know, had to set up my room and get ready for all kinds of life things. So we're finally getting to it, but as you can tell, it is disgusting. You know, everything is kind of dirty, unfinished paint. You know, all my stuff is scattered around everywhere. And the best part about it is we can finally put the car in the garage and have the tools all in the same space. And I'm not cramped. I don't have to take the car out, you know, all this other stuff. I don't have to walk across the street anymore to an apartment. I'm in a full size house and it is really, really cool. So here, let's go ahead and walk around, show you more what's going on and how we're kind of going to do it. So, but yeah, guys, so it's really cool in here, but like I said, it's, she's going to need a decent amount of work but the cool thing is we are renting this and i mean we as in i have roommates now and uh so my rent is really cheap but as you can see uh yeah it ain't even fully painted in here like we got we got all kinds of stuff like we got like random boards and sandbags i guess that's for hurricane season and like so is some of that stuff too um but yeah like here's what i was talking about. i just kind of throw my stuff together and just I haven't had a chance to get to it yet, so now we're finally starting to get around. Oh, dude, check this out. I got this freaking, I finally got a tripod. I don't have to start stacking stuff and put my little phone mount on it. So now I got a little tripod, so we're, we're moving up, baby. <laughs> but, but yeah, I gotta just, you know, I was helping a friend out on Sunday. I never really got, got around to uh, cleaning this up. And then I helped my buddy do an oil change. So I showed him how to do all that. So I kind of just left some of this out here. But yeah, cool thing though, is we got the car in here. It's a two car garage. So if I want, I could pull Sierra in maybe a little bit. Probably not, cause I might have all my tools this right here and you know, all that kind of stuff. But she will definitely be in the garage at all times. Um, this part will be her little spot. And then we have the main show, the good old Sierra girl. Uh, I really hope I get videos out before probably this one, but yeah, she, we're still doing stuff to her, even though I haven't really been posting it. Cause like I said, the whole job search and then move in and it was a whole thing y'all. But yeah, she's, she's good. Everything's looking good. Uh, definitely going to be doing more projects soon on her. And then hopefully we'll get some firebird content coming as well. But yeah, I got a lot. I still have a lot in store for this thing. Y'all just, like I said, just bear with me just a little bit until we get everything figured out. And then we can start rolling in, but you know. But yeah, for now, you know, this is how she sits. Oh, she's really dirty. I have not washed this truck in probably uh, two, three months, something like that. You can probably see. Oh yeah, she. She real dirty. Look at that. Look at that. Whew. You can just see the difference right there. She's super dirty. I mean, look at these wheels too, bro coming in here it's like god oh. you see the front ones they're they're really break dusted up oh yeah that's real dirty and probably too because when i was pulling that trailer and i'll put another picture up here of this old girl pulling that trailer dude that thing alone was 4500 pounds but she pulled it like a champ didn't didn't even think twice about it 
And it was really cool too, cause like I pulled up right here in the trailer and I had my buddy behind me. And then I walked up to his truck, I was like, hey, like, sh should I back the trailer in? And he looks at me and he goes, bro, I think in every man's life, when he's presented this opportunity, he just has to do it. It's not even a question. You just, you have to back up a trailer. And I was like, fair enough. So <laughs> back that thing up in here. Uh, it was really crazy because people, we actually had a car parked here and then a car parked here because people were still like, you know, trying to help, we're trying to help them move out or moving in type deal. So I had to squeeze that big old trailer in between these cars, but I got it one go. I just, I swung it real wide. It kind of came crooked. So I forwarded it out or straightened out and then came right on back. So, but yeah, she pulled it like a freaking champ. I was super proud of this truck. Plus another like probably maybe close to a thousand pounds, maybe loaded just with all my, my tool stuff and then extras and whatever else. Like my entire apartment and my garage was on this trailer. So, but yeah, it was great. Y'all, I'm super, super excited for this opportunity. Uh, being in this new house and uh, hopefully you know we can do a lot of stuff with it the cool thing is my buddy who I'm renting it with his dad owns the house so that's not only the reason we're getting cheap rent but I told him I was like hey you know if your dad's cool with it if he gets to paint I'll paint it make it look nice I can I can put more lights up or, or you know whatever the case may be let me some LEDs or like strips or whatever you know anything like that's a little workbench with a light that's really bright by the way which is awesome but i was like yeah I'll, i can do we'll make this thing look good you know and it's like at the benefit of him because this is this is a rental so and while i'm here for as long as i'm here i want it to look good and you know it'd be nice kind of like you know pleasing to the eye for the channel and everything so i'm super excited guys but yeah i just I appreciate y'all sticking around and just bearing with me while life is just throwing me curveballs left and right. Um, we're hanging in. We have sincere faith. I know the Lord's doing something in my in my work and just in my life in general. And you know the same goes for you as well. So thanks for bearing in with me. And we're we're still gonna be pumping out videos. I, I promise. I'm I, like you can see how life is going right now. So we're trying to get it all all figured out. But just wanted to help show you guys that I'm I'm still alive. I'm still trying to get stuff out and kind of some updates with me, you know, just to kind of be a little more personal and, you know, let you guys in. I'm, I'm not some two, three million, you know, subscriber guy. So I don't mind being open with you. And even if I was, I would still be open with you. So yeah, but thanks for sticking around. I know you guys are awesome. Last I checked, I had 810 subscribers. So I don't know how many I'm going to have when I put this video out. Hopefully, you know, I'll put it out pretty soon. But y'all, that is that is crazy. I mean, this is probably two and a half years now I've been doing this. I think maybe three. Um, I, I've lost count uh, just because we've been having so much fun. And yeah, I'm we're close to a thousand, which I, it's crazy. I started off with like 14 subscribers, which I, you know, they really know what they like to see. But, you know, here we are now. So yeah i'm really really grateful that you guys give me the opportunity to do this and even just give me the view i mean you are people that i appreciate every single one of y'all because y'all make this possible y'all inspire me y'all push me to keep going and i want to share my passions with you guys just as much as i like to enjoy it myself so but hey guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video i really hope you enjoyed it so far thanks for sticking around and We'll, we'll get to these two soon enough, I promise. But as always, guys, you can like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. It's your choice. Thanks for sticking around and many blessings. We'll see you next time. I'm going to intervene here just for a quick second because I actually got time to finish this garage. Y'all, I'm super, super stoked. I could, dude, this is like, I could make this my dream garage right now. But yeah, so I'm going to give you, I guess, this might be a rough draft. I don't know. I'm, I think this might be kind of final. Maybe a few things might change, but so here it is. So on the left side, we kind of got like, I basically borrowed all of these off of Facebook Marketplace. Y'all, if y'all ever moving and you need boxes, go to Facebook Marketplace. They gave me wardrobe boxes with little hangers and everything and all sorts of types and then bubble wrap and wrapping paper and whatever. So I'm gonna put that back on Facebook so that'll be gone soon. This is for like hurricane crap. That padding should be gone, but Yo, check this out, bro. I actually might get the car a little closer over here so we got room in the back. But 
Ooh, look at this, boy. Clean, son. Kind of borrowing my buddy's uh, bottom shelf there for some things and whatever. And I kind of love it there too. And then hang these, I hung those up and I had a, I know a buddy who uh, was a technician for Toyota for about 15 years and he was like, you know what, I like to hang things that remind me to not screw up like that again. So, you know, we got it all cleaned up. We got the detailing toolbox here and we got my stuff here, you know, because I mean, I, I use this a lot, so I kind of want this to be central and obviously next to where everything is. And then got the toolbox and the compressor. I put these two together because they both have short cords and they need an outlet. So that's right there. Awesome that the breaker box is there. I uh, kind of utilize this space right here just to put like my table and my saw horses and everything, trash bag. Just squeezed in my little stool. And then, you know, kind of put some extras underneath and then those are gonna go with Facebook too, and this is kind of just random, whatever. But see, I was saying like there's another workbench with that really, really bright light, and then I put another little thing up there. We can probably store some more things, but those pieces are very brittle, or very, very thin, so maybe I might have to reinforce that. Honestly, I didn't know where to put this, so I'm kind of just sticking it right here for now. Um, I guess that'll just be the end of that, but, uh, but yeah, y'all. We look at it in point five. I guess it's kind of like my view. Look at this, boy. Clean, son. I definitely want to get more room so I can walk through here without having to squeeze, you know what I mean? But yeah, swept and everything, and looks real good. Oh, this is like, this is so cool, y'all. I am super stoked for all this. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to show you this real quick because it looks pretty good, so uh, we'll see ya.